Hey everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Fusion 360 to turn almost any 3D printable model into two or more interlocking pieces to fit together. I love this modeling technique because even if you only have a single extruder printer, you can create multicolor or multi-material prints pretty easily. It's also a great exercise in uh, your modeling skills if you're a beginner with Fusion 360. But you can apply these techniques to almost any 3D modeling software. To get started, we need to import our STL file into Fusion 360 so that we can work on it. To do this, click on Insert at the top and then Insert Mesh. Next, select your STL file. For my example, I'm going to use the low poly cat model that you just saw. Double click on it or hit Open or whatever, and then you'll see an Insert Mesh prompt. I'm going to use millimeters for my unit type and leave everything else as default, and then click OK. Now my model has been imported as a mesh into the Fusion 360 workspace. To turn this from just a mesh into something that I can easily work with, I need to convert it into a B-Rep. To do this, over on the left, right click on the very top uh, item in the item browser, and then click Do Not Capture Design History, then click on Continue. This will temporarily make it so that Fusion 360 does not capture any actions that we make, so like it won't uh, capture any changes we make to the mesh, but we don't need to worry about that. Next, right click on the mesh body, and then click on Mesh to B-Wrap. Depending on your specific model and the polygon count, this can take a while to process, and your model might not be compatible to be imported into Fusion 360. You might have to modify it, but because I'm using a low polygon cat model, it's fairly quick to process, so I can import it as a B-Rep very quickly. So I'm going to make sure that it has my body selected, and then it's creating a new body as the operation. Then I'll click OK. You can see the cat has turned into this uh, kind of shiny gray figure with all the polygons and lines, intersections and everything that I can select and modify. Now this is just like a normal body in Fusion 360. Over on the left again, I can right click on my mesh body and delete it, because we don't need to worry about it anymore. And I have my cat model. After I import models as a STL, I like to check them just for uh, any kind of geometry errors. And you can see on the bottom of this cat, there's a lot of business going on. And it's not necessarily good business. This might lead to uh, some errors if we try to modify it. So I'm just going to select one of these triangles and I'm just going to try and delete it. And because Fusion 360 is pretty good at figuring stuff out, just deleting one of those triangles made Fusion 360 transform the bottom into a solid like a solid sheet. So that's really good news for me. Next step is to make the intersections that we want on the cat. So we need to separate this model into the two pieces that will fit together instead of just being a single solid piece. How do we go about doing that? It's actually pretty straightforward. The first step is to select the main body and then press Control C for copy and deselect the body and press Control v for paste. This basically creates an, a, a copy or a clone of our first body. Now we have, you can see over here, body 1 and body 2, which are exactly identical. I'm going to click on the light bulb to make body 2 invisible temporarily so that I can make some changes to body 1. <clears throat> for this example, I'm going to use body 1 as the piece that I want to be the, uh, I guess, the male part of the, the intersecting piece. So this is going to have the like an extrusion, it's going to be a flat base with an extrusion coming off of it that will fit into the main cat body. So to do this, I'm going to select the horizontal plane and I'm going to create a new sketch on it. To do that, I'm going to hit R for rectangle and then I'm going to select the horizontal plane. So now I'm in sketch mode and uh, I just hit R because it's just a quick hotkey for sketches. You can hit L for line, or you can just create sketch, whatever you want to do. And uh, for this example, I'm going to use a hexagon as my, uh, like the intersecting piece, just because I like hexagons. Everybody likes hexagons. So I'm going to go to sketch, polygon, circumscribed polygon, and then I'm going to put a hexagon on the cat's butt. I'm going to make the hexagon 16 millimeters. This is just an arbitrary value. There's no real rhyme or reason to... Uh, the shape I'm choosing or the positioning. Just for this example, I'm just going to do a hexagon because it's relatively simple to uh, visualize and to work with. So now you can see I have my hexagonal sketch on the bottom of the cat. 
Now I'll hit stop sketch and then I'm going to hit E for extrude. So now this brings me into uh, an extrude prompt. I'm going to make sure the profile is selected as that hexagonal sketch that I just made. So if I had multiple uh, hexagons I would select all of the hexagons but just for this one uh, example I have the one main hexagon so I'll just select that. I'm going to leave the profile plane as the horizontal plane that we had selected. Direction, one side is fine because it's going to extrude up through the cat. And uh, <clears throat> so for distance, I'm just going to drag it an arbitrary value that goes all the way through the cat. So now you can see there is a hexagonal intersection through the cat body. The important part of this is operation. Instead of doing cut, I want to make sure I do intersect. So now you can see what this did is it actually created a hexagonal slice out of that cat body. It deleted the main body, but now it has a hexagonal slice. And the important part about this is that it follows the surface geometry of the main model. So that if I were to insert this back into the, the main piece, it'll basically look like a, seamless, uh, like a seamless surface. So once I did that, I'll hit OK. And now you can see I have body 2, which is the whole cat, unmodified. And then I have body one, which is now that slice out of the butt. So I want to put that butt slice into the main cat. I never thought I would say that. So to put the, the slice indentation in the main cat body now, I'm going to select on uh, body two, which is the whole cat. And then at the top toolbar, I'm going to go modify, and then I'm going to go combine. So this will bring up a new, uh, <clears throat> a new tool window. For target body, I want to make sure I have my whole model selected. And then tool bodies, I'm going to select body 1, which is that intersecting piece. For operation, I'm going to select cut. So I want to remove body 1 from body 2. And I'm going to make sure that keep tools is selected. So making uh, keep tools selected will make sure that we keep model 1. So instead of removing model 1 and then cutting a hole in model 2, it will cut a hole and also keep model 1. So once I did that, hit OK. And now you can see I have body 2 and body 1. And they both have a matching intersection just like that. Good times. So to make a base for that, it's actually uh, pretty simple. I'm going to select the bottom face here and then also the bottom face of body 2. So now I have the bottom of body 2 and body 1 selected at the same time. I'm going to hit E for extrude and then I'm going to extrude this about 2 millimeters. Just uh, This is another arbitrary value but this is going to be the base of the model. And I'm going to do new body and OK. So now I have three bodies. I have body one, body two, and body three. Body three is the base, body two is the main body, and then body one is the intersecting piece. The final step to create this, or the last primary step, is to select uh, body three, and then go to modify and combine, and then make sure target body is one of the intersecting pieces, and then tool body, you want to select the other piece. Now for this, you want to do join. And then instead of having keep tool selected, you can uncheck that and then click OK. So now we have our two pieces. We have our cat model and our intersecting piece. And that's essentially the way that it's done. Now, to make this a 3D printable model, there's a couple things that we need to take into consideration. 3D printers have tolerances, and not every 3D printer is uh, very accurate or uh, reliable. So to make this a lot easier to 3D print, I'm going to basically shrink down the, uh, this intersecting peg here just a little bit. I'm going to press Q for the press pull command. Q, and then I'm going to select the faces on the hexagon and I'm going to shrink them by uh, 0 0.2 millimeters. So this is a very small amount. It'll be very subtle. 
in the finished model, but it'll make it much, much easier to print. And because I plan on posting this model on, uh, on Thingiverse, I want to make sure that everybody can print it relatively easily. Now the model's pretty much done. I changed the colors of the two pieces here so that it's a little bit easier to see how they intersect. And the final step is to export the file as an STL so that you can print it. To do that, just over on the left here, right click on your body and then click Save as STL. A little box will pop up and prompt you to choose your settings. You can preview the mesh if you want and you can choose how uh, dense you want the triangular mesh of the STL to be. I usually just use high. And then click OK. It'll prompt you to choose a location to save your STL. I'm going to name mine Kitty Cat Top. And then I'm going to select the other one and go through the same process. So now with the two parts printed, all that's left is to put them together. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. There are links in the video description below to download the cat models if you're interested. Have a great day. See you next time.